Welcome to Sick Hippie from Annandale, Minnesota. So I had to improvise. I forgot a uh, coffee cup, so I have a little bowl and I'm making my tea in it. Um, I had a little bit of an upset tummy a week ago and I went to a family member's and um, my grandma and I have uh, celiac disease and so when we got there she was like oh I made um, mashed potatoes for you guys gluten free um, and then I also have gluten free bread if you guys want it it's in the freezer so I'm gonna have to thaw it out and I was like okay cool um, so I had some mashed potatoes I didn't want any bread because I had had a sandwich before so I just had a little little bowl of mashed potatoes or a little a little plate of like fruit and mashed potatoes and I think I had some vegetables as well um, but then as I'm eating my mashed potatoes, um, I watch my family member go and make my grandma's toast in their own personal toaster. I have been having some trouble since then. Um, the first weekend or the first few days was awful. It was probably Tuesday and Wednesday that was the worst because I just had tummy attack after tummy attack after tummy attack and then um, when I finally like got better I used my tricks my bag of tricks it's tough like even today I'm having trouble so I got up and I had my tea and my my bowl of tea um, and I decided that I was gonna look for gluten-free stuff in Annandale Minnesota cuz I'm here so I did look up uh, this one place. It has a uh, gluten-free bakery. Hold on, I have to go and find it. So I did a Google search and what came up was Clover Meadow, ba Meadow, Clover Meadow Bakery. And then the Meadows Bakery, um, I am going to visit. It's, it's only open on Saturdays and it's only open nine to one 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I have like this big of a window to go check it out um, tomorrow morning, but I'm going to be there before it opens. Oh, excuse me. Um, because I am super excited to see what it's all about and show you guys on my channel because this is what it's all about, you guys. This is what makes me so excited. I want to show you gluten-free stuff. Um, oh, and really quick, I do want to go over the tea. So I use Yogi Tea as my tea. Um, I love Yogi Tea. They only have a couple of, of teas that are um, not gluten free. Otherwise their facility is pretty safe. Oh, I didn't realize that had a crack. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so I, they, they all, they don't use a glue on their, um, their tea bags. Yes, guys, you do have to be careful of the glue that you use. These, tea bags don't have glue they have little staples and yes they have come undone on me before um, but luckily I caught it and was able to kind of save my tea um, otherwise I just run it through a coffee filter real quick and it's good to go so um, yogi tea is the way to go it's um, the most flavor I'm trying to cut out coffee again um, because of my tummy issues I've been noticing that the coffee kind of makes it worse Plus, Yogi Tea has this fantastic cinnamon probiotic tea. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I'm actually drinking it right now. I have Marketplace across the road from me, and we're going to go on a little adventure, and we're going to go check it out and see what they have gluten-free. Otherwise, there is a Walmart and Coburn's about 11 miles away from here, so it's about 10 minutes. Um, and I'm super excited because I'm going to go show you guys what they have there as well. Oh my goodness, I am going to stop at my car and grab some sunglasses. So, Marketplace does actually have a pretty decent section. Um, it's not it's not huge, but we're going to buy these and I will do a review on them. I've never actually had the maple, um, chicken maple sausage, but I've had their other kind and I love it. Um, I'm just going to take the cheese off of this and call it a day, but I will do a review for you guys. So, hold on and we'll get this done. Yay, I'm so excited. They also sell Yogi tea here. Um, they're a bit expensive, but 
it's not terrible. I think at Walmart you can get them a little bit cheaper and we'll go kind of take a peek maybe if we have time. But right now I'm trying to find their dry gluten-free section at Marketplace. Oh, this one. I know this one, you guys, is gluten-free, so if you're looking for any sweet and sour sauce, it does um, say gluten-free on it. There's the ingredients quick. I'm not gonna read them because I don't have time. So, just to kind of give you guys more of an idea of uh, more gluten-free foods. So it looks like they have a pretty awesome uh, gluten-free section here, you guys. Um, uh, they do, it's just one little section. Um, it's, it's about the same as the, my Walmart in Pine City. These, you guys, are so yummy, and so are these. Super, super yummy. Um, I'm gonna go see what they have at the frozen section. All right, guys, this is what they have for frozen stuff. Um, they have Udi's bread, they have um, dishes, they have cookies. Um, Ian's is actually really good. I really enjoy their food. <coughs> Those are the best donuts ever. And then they have some other stuff as well. And it looks like they also have, oh, they have a pretty decent section here, you guys. Gluten-free. And it's dairy free, so that's one that I can have. And it looks like that's it, you guys. Um, of course, it's in the bread aisle. Fabulous. We love that. Not at all. But anyway, so that, that kind of gives you guys an idea. All right, you guys. So I was going to go to Coburn's, but it looks like it's like another 11 miles away, and I have to get back. Um, because it, this, this ended up giving me a crazy detour. I have a lot of stuff in my back. I just want to make sure. Um, and I, it went from 12 miles to 19 miles. So I have to hurry up and get back to my hotel so I can taste that yummy, delicious breakfast sandwich. Um, so I'm not going to Coburn's, but I wanted to let you guys know that Coburn's has an amazing gluten-free section. So um, definitely check them out. Um, usually has an amazing gluten-free section. I apologize. So go ahead and check them out, you guys.